If you've done any kind of computer programming before, what I'm going to talk about in this video will seem really, really straightforward. But if you're a musician, having a play with Sonic Pi and working with computer music for the first time, this will be something new, and it's really powerful and useful stuff. I've created a composition here that I am pretty proud of. Take a listen. <coughs> It's so good, in fact, that I think if I had it playing on a loop all of the time in my house, my life would be so unbelievably great. So how can we do that? Well, probably the most simple way would be just to take all of the instructions that make up my program, copy those, and paste them in lots of times. So now instead of getting the burp-snap combination once, I'm going to get it lots and lots of times. Done it quite a few times now. My program's getting quite long. Let's have a listen to that. Groovy. That was pretty good, although unfortunately it did come to an end. So if I wanted this to run for hours and hours and hours, it would take me a long time to copy and paste the instructions enough times. I don't claim to be a brilliant computer programmer, but I've also learned that if you're copying and pasting instructions to the computer lots of times, you've probably gone wrong somewhere because there's normally a way that you can make that program much, much simpler than having lots and lots of repeated instructions. Another way we can get stuff to repeat in programs is by telling the computer that we want a certain set of instructions to run lots and lots of times. And there's a way of doing that in Sonic Pi, which I'm going to show you now, and that is using the loop command. It turns out that actually this loop command isn't that useful in musical applications. We'll find much better ways to make things repeat, but I'm just showing this now because it starts to just bring in the idea that we can group instructions, group sets of instructions together into what we call a block. So what we're basically saying is that for this composition to go on forever, what we need to happen is for this block of instructions, here it's the whole program, but sometimes it might just be a few lines of a program, to run in this case forever, sometimes we want a block of instructions to run a certain number of times or work together in some way. So we'll be seeing blocks lots and lots as we go forward in the course. So just to complete this lesson, what I'm going to do is type loop do and end. Now by typing loop do at the top and end at the bottom, what I'm saying is between those two lines, between the loop do and the end, I've included a set of instructions that I want to go round and round and around forever. So the computer knows that when it gets to the bottom of this set of instructions, it just needs to go back to the top and start again. And that's what this loop thing is going to do. It's going to take that set of instructions and run them forever. So instead of copying and pasting, copying and pasting over and over and over again, what I've been able to do by just adding two lines is to tell the computer that what I want to do is run my instructions over and over again. 